uh, and their one and only online set was at TNS Pandemic Monthly Number Four, which went Game Five with Louie Money winning with Solo Falco. So interesting setup here. Uh, but we're going to see the Palu to start this off. Let's see how Louie Money does here in their second ever online. Yeah, it's really interesting. I don't know. Like it's, it's heavily in Louie Money's favor offline, but online is almost a different thing. So we could just see something brand new here with Peru. Or we can see Louie Money continue to play amazing <laughs> right now. 0 52. I think this match is not bad for Palu, kind of for the same reasons uh, Wolf did well. Uh, has the good tools in neutral, a combo, we fit, has a reflector, has great ledge guarding tools, a great projectile in her own right. So, uh,. Yeah, you can definitely contest with a lot of things that Weefe wants to do to get started. It's, it's really going to come down to how well Varun is uh, going to mix up his approaches and really take advantage when he gets a hit. Yeah, if we were to try to predict this matchup and this outcome, it's not really looking to be something within Louis's money favor, specifically looking at Palutena versus Varun, but also the fact that, you know, as last pointed out to us, historically speaking, Louis money has been on the winning end. And there's a reason why this man is rocking the tag stacks because he's looking to definitely increase the stacks of money that he's already got in that PayPal account because he takes stock no. number one. <laughs> the, the explosive pack. foot, Varun actually did a fantastic job of using the soccer ball in midair to stall himself out of getting hit by explosive flame. And then the explosive flame just reflected the soccer ball right back into his face and resulted in the kill anyway. That's just very unfortunate. Uh, and Lou Money gets to capitalize on that stock I early and 64% already with just one string. This is not looking good for Varun. It looks like that this match is going to hold up to uh, the historical record because Louie Money's just running away with it at the moment. It's one thing when you have the character advantage. It's another thing when you have the character advantage and you know the matchup really well. So you're just not really falling for a lot of like the surprise gimmicks of the character. I think that's what we're seeing right now from Louie Money. Speaking of surprise gimmicks, that's actually something that I, I saw quite a bit during the Larry Lur set. Um, was Louis Money using that teleport to what he does if he teleports? Oh, whoa! whoa. What the, the only place he's teleporting to right now is the Blossom Man. Yeah. <laughs> Louis Money uses the teleport at ledge. He gets to ledge, and then during invincibility, he hops off and teleports behind his opponent in order to get back to center stage control, which is really good, and I don't see Palus do it too often. Um, but what Louis Money was doing there is that ended up getting him killed by Varun was just underestimating oh, no. how good Varun is at using the soccer ball. And that's the thing that separates Varun from 99.999% of other Wii Fit Trainer players is that he is always using the soccer ball in new and creative ways that it's just, it's incredible to see. Yeah, that's, yeah. like I saw him going for that sniper a lot versus Charlie, but he's just like barely missing it. But to see him pull it off in this set is uh, really impressive. But he, he's going to need a lot more than that to make up for the way Louis Money's playing right now. Neutral air kind of taking him. That's the thing about Palutena too. In the air to air, her neutral air is one of the greatest tools specifically to start corner carries and consistently get burst damage in. But Louis Money gets back on the stage almost with the back air. You already know how safe that can be. And right now, Louis back air. Oh, oh my God. And not able to get the second one, but again, if you think this is even, take a look at the stocks real quick. Because Louis Money's got an entire extra stock to play with, even if Varun manages to get. Oh, oh what was that? It just kept drifting. It was like a heat-seeking missile straight to Louis Money's face. He got lucky he didn't die from that. Yeah, that what was. It's a shame it didn't kill, and Louis Money's still sitting with two stocks in the stage control. And you can tell that even if Varun is gonna go down, man, he's gonna he's got a message to send to Louis Money. He's, he will hunt them down anywhere on the stage with that soccer ball. I think Gal is a very, very adequate way to put the way that that soccer ball was just flying towards Louis Money's face no matter where he ran. Yeah. All right, Varun looking for an opportunity here with the soccer ball yet again. That's the thing about specifically Wii Fit Trainer and soccer ball. You know, only it's a really fast projectile, but it's also the fact that it's so active, if, even if it misses or you can set up into it, is really, really powerful. We saw how specifically Maroon was able to do against Charlie here. And we know that Louis Money is kind of playing a little bit keen to more of the mid range, respecting the soccer ball, but also respecting afterwards and trying to see if he can actually get the rune after the soccer ball, and which he does here with dash attack. Sets himself up kind of nicely at the corner and Maroon coming in really hot with that neutral air, trying to push Louis Money to the other side. Oh, Backstar is probably going to 
do it? No, it's not, but it is going to set him up off stage where Louis Money loves to capitalize. Bruin makes it back to stage safely, but it's not going to, it is going to matter. He's going to live through the F tilt, going off stage to try and get this kill, but Bruin still living 177%. This is looking like Louis Money Larry Lur. Hey, he has the rage, he has the deep breathing. Oh, never mind. Okay. Good trade, good trade. For, for the like uh, the split second that we were stuck on that critical hit kill screen, I thought that Varun might have actually won, and I was about to go nuts. <laughs> I mean, I know the rage is crazy, but like ninety, I don't, I don't know if it's that crazy. I don't think yeah. it's that. This is not Smash Four, but I was just like, oh my god, did he just win that? <laughs> yeah. That was still great though. Great for Maroon. He's very yeah. resilient. I think that just might be a NorCal thing. I just think they just never- Living forever. Yeah. Live forever, always back on PS2. Back. Yo, Dude, living forever is such a big tool, especially against your opponents. When they're getting really overly aggressive to take that stock because they know they're behind and they know they want that win, that point, that last second opportunity here, it's really big. So the fact that, you know, we're seeing Louis Money and Maroon living to these high percents, Definitely goes to show that NorCal's definitely got the secret sauce to survive a little bit longer here. But it's going to be game two and Louis Money starting off for the neutral air. Missed grab and 53% on the room. For the Switch of Flame on the ledge. Oh, oh that was a lot of extra unfortunate damage for Varun because he got caught by both the Explosive Flame and the constant rebound of the, uh, of the side B. So that was just like... I think that was like 20 extra percent outside of what the explosive flame would have done anyway. But oh. I, I've just been thinking about this. Speaking of like gimmicks and stuff, Varun hasn't been able to make good use of uh, of deep breathing because every single time that he goes oh. to try and up, everyone is there in his face. Speaking of in his face, that explosive flame going to capitalize at the edge, going to get the kill, and Varun not in the best of positions at the moment, that's for sure. Oh, he tries to get the snipe on the recovery too with the spike, but he's just barely mistiming that. Louis Money also mixes up the angle that he recovers to the ledge uh, pretty often too. I think to make up for like the extra frames you have to punish tilt for recovery. To the yeah, ledge. that's oh. that's the thing too. A lot of people sometimes get twisted. Is just because she has a teleport, she auto snaps. No, she's actually kind of vulnerable. That's why we saw Larry able to get that downer. Yeah, uh, there's uh, I, I don't know exactly how many frames it is, but there are a few frames of vulnerability before, like, while they're coming out of the teleport and going into the ledge snap. Um, but Louis Money sitting at 168 right now, catching Blue with his own soccer ball. Oh they getting paired on stage into the top blast zone. That's going to be a kill and a half. I don't know about you guys, but seeing people kill off the top with downer is one of the funniest things. Oh no, it's fantastic. Um, <laughs> it's like so funny. Because it, it never kills, like unless you're playing like Ganondorf or something, it won't kill until very late. So it's just kind of like a last resort kill thing. And it's so funny every time it happens. Yeah, I do like that back throw. Speaking of kill, that back throw won't kill Varun at that specific opportunity. But you can see how good that was for Louis Money to go for either way, because it still causes Varun to have to make that low recovery. And then it's Louis Money to get that up, that back air, that down air on Varun and take care of the stock. And it's even continuing the same story here on the other side of the stage. You can see that Louis Money is keen to take that positive trade, set up the fire, wait for Maroon to make the play, oh and then catch God. the get up. Yep. Louis Money is Louis Money is on fire. Ledge. He's actually impressing him at the ledge. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, you know how we the trainers like to be at the ledge? I feel like Maroon in this scenario, he's actually just trying to get off the ledge, but Louis Money's like, nah, if you want to play there, go ahead. You're going to take like a thousand percent of this end up dying. So crazy. That's the big thing that I'm seeing from Louis Money throughout this set. Like, uh, with money in his name, you'd, you'd expect he'd be adept at trades, and he most certainly is here. He's doing such a good job of making sure that every interaction between the two comes out as a net positive for him. So, like, Burns hitting him, sure, but Louis Money's also getting little bits of nares in there, or little bits of up airs, some sort of trade at any given time. So Varun never escapes any interaction unscathed, and that's the really fantastic thing that we're seeing is that Louis Money is just making every single cent count nickel and diamond Varun, and that back air offstage not quite going to take it, but it's going to put Varun in a very bad position, being stuck on lead versus Louis Money once more. And as we've seen, being stuck on lead versus Louis Money is not a fun place to be. Not at all, man. He just has so many tools, but he has to swing, gets the up air out there, finally gain that stock. He's, he, he has to make a huge comeback here. You saw this in the last game. Oh, nope, trying to catch a roll read, but doesn't get it. Not falling for the back throughout the ledge. Opportunity here for Varun. Tries nice to bend it all down there. 
Good for Louis Moon to go for that teleport on stage. He doesn't want to go for that low recovery because Varun has opportunities to set up there. Oh. 62% and just like that, Varun is possibly could clutch this game here on Palutena because we all know how we fit and work with Rage. But unfortunately, Ooh. that was an excellent call out for Louis Money with the forward tilt because he knows he wants to stall on the ledge and he has the tools to do it. Why not call out one of the greatest ones and it's that soccer ball? Yeah, Louis Money recognizes that Palutena literally has a move like for anything that we fit trainer tries to do with the ledge, like F tilt, down tilt, up smash. Like, yeah, that, that really does seem to be where Palu, like not just specifically Louie Money versus Varun, but where Palu beats We Fit is in the frame data category. It's just that every time Varun tries to get up or tries to contest him in the aerial game or tries to contest him on the ground, uh, Louie Money just has an answer for it, and that answer is having better frame data. Yeah, like, it's great. Like he's, he's already shown that he can win this matchup with like other characters but the fact that he has all these tools while like knowing what the character does so well it's just so good for louis money right now yeah I and, and it's see what varun is going to try to adapt here to bring this back it's not going to be easy in any sense of the word it's definitely one of those things of like it's louis money's ability to understand varun as a player but let's not forget you know we fit trainer as a whole as a character it's kind of slowly one of those like weird characters in the meta where like there's not a lot of people who main this character like you said last we do have another player like so good pop but when it comes to somebody who stands out among the rest it's varun and i don't know how many players have fought varun but i know that players like emperor gabriel have lost this this player so uh, it's at frame perfect online well most recent one of the king sub 20s varun had like an insane run beating like epic gauge spargo like a ton of like fantastic not just offline but online players too in the wi-fi scene and varun still making his presence known taking the first stock off of louis money in this game three it's got to be very very careful about how he plays this because again louis money's up 2-0 right now looking to go into grands free yeah. yeah but this is the best position he's been in like it's literally his first time getting the first stock <laughs> in this whole set so far so if he's able to capitalize here, I can definitely see him finally getting on the board. And uh, Weefit Challenge is another one of those characters that also benefits heavily for when you're forced to approach her when like, you know, you're down a stock like this. So I think Varun is in a really good position right now. Oh, but that grab so range lead up. Grab from centuries away. <laughs> Louis Money is sneaking in that throw. And uh, here's the near loops. Oh, he doesn't get the roll, but we're going for another ride on the Nair train. There goes uh, Varun, though, leaving some pressure at the up, so still maintaining this, slight, this slight percent lead. Actually starting to lengthen a bit. Blue Money catching with the down throw into nothing, actually. I expected a, a follow-up there, but nothing's going to come of it. Yeah, he looked like he was trying to get a, a wave line on the platform to get a tech hit, but he just barely missed it. Varun back to the place where Louis Money wants him though, on ledge, back to center stage though, and Varun trying to get that soccer ball, but Nair going to cancel it out. What can't Nair do? It stops projectiles, it hits your opponent for 30, it makes you dinner, it just does anything you want. It. Great move. Oh, Varun not going to be able to get the kill though. I thought for sure that was a dead Louis Money. Okay, there it is. Ledge. Yes, finally, Varun manages to capitalize on Louis Money's oh, side. Uh, grab habits and going to get that first or that second kill of the game. Dude, Varun, and you look for grab like that. Right now is amazing. Okay. Oh, okay, we're still living. Doesn't get the strong hit of the up there. But there's the second one. Nowhere to go. Varun even trying to stall his recovery just a little bit, mix up his landing. But that up there has so many hits that it's very difficult to get it past it. But. Still good position for Varun here. Let's see if he's able to clutch this out or three money. Go up 3-0 here. It's a good start. Doesn't get the last juggle, but he's still keeping up the pressure. Varun back at the ledge is where he's been. He might be too. Full time. So that's, that's the big thing that has kind of just identified everything in this match is how is Varun going to get off to let off the ledge? And usually the answer is he can't because Louis Money's doing such a good job of calling out his every option that he just, every time he escapes ledge, he does it after taking 40, 50% or maybe even dying. Yeah, it's really, really rough. But Varun is staying really resilient here. Last opportunity to get on the board. Oh, okay. Louis Money on the ledge though, Varun. Trying to get back to stage with the soccer ball, delaying off stage, just a little bit up smash, not going to catch him. Good shield on the getup from Varun. 
looking for the soccer ball. Linger not going to catch it, but almost actually breaking Louis nice. Martin's shield right there. And the landing oh, they're it. not going to do it. My goodness. Louis Martin. Oh! oh what the catch? Oh my god. Oh my god, Maroon. Finally getting on the board in the most epic way possible. Dude, that was insane. You saw the, the header spike. I I haven't seen someone go for that type of read like that in a pretty long time. But uh damn, that's what it takes, man. That's that's exactly what it takes just to get a game off of Louis Money. Yeah, um <laughs> I just I'm very surprised that out of all the ways it could have ended, it was with a with a header spike. Um, that's really funny. That was sick. Going into game yeah. three, it looks like there are no counter picks. We're sticking to PS2 all day long. Yeah, it's a good stage for both players. If you look at, like, Varun as a whole, like you mentioned last, he's a character with skill. You know, he has definitely gotten a lot of names under his belt, and it's just Louis Money who has that download, but now Varun getting that break... Even though Louis Money has beaten this guy around 33 times, Varun knows, you know what, I've lost 33 times, but it's 33 times for me to learn, for me to understand. And that point on the board is definitely demonstrating a little bit of that. Varun finally coming back here. The one thing, too, for Varun, he did an excellent job of just whiff punishing Louis Money for going for those grabs. Because even though Palutena has an excellent grab, never forget, she's got some cooldown on it here. And Louis Money looking to kind of respond against Varun, putting up that 73% and the excellent corner carry alongside it last. Louis Money is unstoppable right now. Oh my god. He had the very last hitbox <laughs> yeah. of the side B to beat out the up smash. That could have been terrible. I uh, hate calling things lucky, but I don't think that was planned. I think that was just Varun getting incredibly lucky by uh, the, the lingering hitbox uh, and stopping Louis Money's up smash there because that definitely would have been an early kill. But speaking of early kills, we're not even a minute in and Louis Money already has a full stock advantage. Oh yeah, this is rough. Varun had such a huge advantage last game just because he was able to secure the first stock. But uh, now we're already seeing the reverse of that and Louis Money, he's just trying to rack it up as much as possible. Almost lapping him in percent from one combo. Already up the stock. Okay, nice punish on the Nair. He's trying to see if he can blow him at the ledge just a little bit here. Yeah, trying Ooh. to get a little bit of revenge for what we've seen throughout this entire set. But Louis Money looking for the high up spike. Not going to catch it. And Varun going off uh, with with the uh, the side beat trying to catch him. Oh. The effort's on ledge with deep breathing. Going to take care of the stock. Oh, yeah. That's for Varun because he set up that soccer ball. That deep breathing F2 is like the equalizer, man. It's so powerful and so quick. I'm glad that Varun's still keeping that in his arsenal just to close up these stocks here. Yeah. It's also good on Varun. Like, you can see that Varun is excellent at understanding how to set up the soccer ball. At that situation, he didn't even interact with it. He waited for Louis Money to make the play for it, and that's what could literally cost him the stock here. Okay. Nice. Getting off the ledge safely this time. I hope he continues to use that crouch like that, because the way Louis Money likes to go for these grabs, he's just going to duck right under that. It might, it might get a decent whip punish from that as well. Oh. The thing that we actually haven't seen too much from Varun here is using one of Wii Fit's, uh, in my opinion, strongest tools is the, the ability to low profile a lot of moves from characters like Palutena. But here it might not matter if Varun can oh, the big hit. Deep breathing coming in clutch, going to give him the oh, power to kill Louis Money. Man. Louis Money just has to wait for him to get off the ground. I think he can down tilt it if he's fast enough, but uh, I think he's just, you know, he's so ready for the nair or the grab. Okay. And I'm struggling to get that next hit in. It's been been a few seconds with no interaction. Louis Money looking to take the stock before Varun builds up too much extra credit. Oh. Not going to do it yet. Spot dodging through the grab. Fantastic read from Varun to avoid what probably would have been his death there. Yeah, I see this big percent here just keeping up this percent and stock lead for Varun. Louis Money finding it a little bit more difficult to get in right here. Okay. Oh, the second snipe with the explosive flame. So good. But you can get that uh, invincibility from the Angel platform to come back with a little bit of deep breathing in the pocket. Varun definitely not going to let this one get away from him. Uh, at least going to try not to. 89% already compared to the 0% on himself. Varun definitely has the advantage here. And as long as he plays careful around what Louis Money's options are, uh, which specifically is this Nair, uh, it's, it should be winnable. 
I, I, yeah. I say that. With 70% advantage, everything should be winnable, but the way Louis Moon has been playing today, it could very well be turned around in an instant. Oh yeah, yeah. Louis Moon is a master, dude. He's brought so many comebacks happen, like, through his, uh, through his sleeve, even when it looks like he's down and out. So I, I'm never going to sleep on this guy. So, uh, no, yeah, and it's... To clutch this out right here. He's playing it's like you said. Safe. It's like you said, man. He is so good at... The ability to like every time you see Varun want to hang out at the ledge, Louis Moniz says fine, and that excellent up there. Oh my god, that I looks like again. I I literally said it like two seconds ago. This should be Varun's game to win unless Louis Money does what Louis Money does, and he he just does. He did it. He caught him caught him lacking near the blast zone, and that's going to be the stock and the game. Louis Money going to advance to winners uh sorry grand finals winners side completely undefeated only having dropped three games this entire tournament